Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackHere.com, and today we're going to break down the all-new Icon D3O protective vest. Okay, as of the time we're filming this video, this retails for $225. Please understand, if the price changes but the product remains the same, we will not update the video for price only changes. $225 retail is very fair for this. This is a CE certified chest and back protector in a convenient vest. Lots of adjustability. We're going to break all that down. This features the D3O armor. That has been in the marketplace for many seasons now. It has proven itself to be very effective. I love the way they have used it in this vest. This is a CE Level 2 certified piece in the back, CE in the chest. If you look at the product listing, it actually breaks down exactly what it is certified to. Icon has come out with some new products for the spring of 2019 that have some track focus to it. We haven't seen the race suit yet. We have the race glove. We'll show you that later today. But I got to tell you, this vest, when I saw the pictures, I was excited to see it. I was even more excited when I really got it in my hands and had the opportunity to look at it. D3O is a very unique material. It has the ability to really manage a ton of energy. It softens a little bit as it warms to. You can kind of look at the cellular design they have here. Those shapes will work off of themselves, right? It allows it to kind of mold to your body and also in impact management, they'll kind of crush together and just help slow that impact down. Floating protector here at the bottom. If you didn't like the way that felt, you could pull it out. Not really any adjustment available down here, but that is floating. When you put this on, pull the suit up, or pull your jacket down, you, know, you want to get this position just right underneath it. Waist strap, and that is perforated, and it's spandex. Tons of adjustment there. The hard outer plates articulate really nicely along with that D3O. The shoulder straps just simply fold over the shoulder. There's Velcro here. There is a measure of adjustment available there. Chest protector, once again, it's got that cellular design as you get out to the ears of it. It's using the D3O panels that you would see a lot like maybe in a shoulder protector. Look this stuff up online. It is super effective. In the chest, they are using a hard plate in the center. Taking an impact on one of the hard plates, what that does, it helps to disperse the load so it's able to call on all this area to manage that impact. Really cool stuff. Let's talk sizing. I'm going to show you that here in a second in the video. I'll throw this on over the shirt. I've already tried it on. They're doing this in like a large, extra large, small, medium, so on and so forth. Basically your jacket and or your shirt size, that's how you're going to choose the size for this vest. If you're a large shirt, extra large shirt, then go large, extra large. If you're a small or a medium, of course, then you'll go the small, medium. A little bit of adjustability with this. This is meant to be used under full race suit. It can be used under a jacket if you choose to do that. I really kind of see this being used primarily on the racetrack. Strong points are going to be the D3O armor that it uses. I like the quality of the construction. The weak point is it doesn't give you the ability to use just the back protector super easy. You can take these straps off like so. You can pull these through. And you still have your waist strap so you can get this inside of your suit and roll it around. It is nice to have the shoulder straps with the back protector. Just kind of helps to hold it into position. With that said, there are plenty of models on the market that don't have shoulder straps that only have the waist straps. So in theory, if you chose not to use the chest guard with this, I think you could pull it off. Best way to use it would be to leave both pieces attached. When I come back, I'm going to have this thing on. We'll just give you a look at it. You can see how it molds to the shape of your body. Really cool piece. Excited for this for 2019. Okay, so now I've got the vest on. We just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 210 pounds, 34 inch waist. This is the large, extra large. I know I wear a medium shirt, but I still opted for the large, extra large size. One of the real strengths of this is that D3O product. It's kind of temperature sensitive. As it warms, it just becomes moldable, just so comfortable. When you have this on, it's almost invisible, right? 
it just feels like it's not even there. Kind of turn to the profile so Scott can get this with that close-up camera. And you can see that this just really immediately follows the contour of my body. It'll even move with you once you have a jacket over it or a race suit over it. It's going to move with you and just be super comfortable while maintaining and providing a very high level of protection. There is adjustability here, of course, at the waist straps. There is adjustment here over the shoulders if you need to you know, get the chest protector down a little bit lower, the back protector down a little bit lower, you can lengthen the straps just a little bit. The floating piece here, well, I would encourage you to leave it. There are some jackets where if you're going to wear this under a jacket, let's face it, I mean, this thing's going to be hanging out, so you could take it off. You'll lose coverage in that area, of course, and that actually might, in the end, alter the certification. I'm not sure how that would play out under a race suit. I would encourage you to leave this there. Just tuck it in place and it's going to float around and offer a good level of protection. Icon really did a good job of this. Super impressed. For a level 2 back protector, you'll also note it's not overly thick, which means this is going to fit very well underneath a race suit that fits you properly or a jacket.